Hey guys, Island Homesteader here with the uh, first potato reveal of the season. These are Red Norlands. Uh, it was two seed potatoes planted on the 11th of April. because of the system on the pot. All right, let's see what we got. No expectations here whatsoever. Never grown these things like this before. And I don't have a fancy piggin like bacon soda, Brendan. So we're just gonna have to settle for a bowl. All right, well, there's a few potatoes already. But there's also some rot. These things may have been too wet. Um, I may have put too much some rot on. I may have put too much stuff in to hold moisture. I may have to amend the uh, planting it from now on, but I am happy with the number of potatoes. this bacon soda style we gotta think of something to talk about um i guess we could talk let's see we can talk about my neck um i haven't updated you guys in a while on that i had the uh gosh another rotten one and i don't know what's i don't know what's making that cut in them like that they split or if something in there cut them something was in there eating on them and that's what caused the rot i'm not real sure See, they're rotted. They're rotted through. Uh, anyway, I had the first injection on my neck. Uh, it'll be two weeks ago, uh, Thursday, two days from now. Um, and I don't really expect that it's made a lot of difference. As a matter of fact, over the last several days, I've actually had more pain and discomfort than I did before the injection. So I don't know exactly what to attribute that to. Uh, so far I'm just not super impressed um, with the results of or what I think the results of this injection are going to be. We'll see. Um, the doctor that did the injection, he, uh, I really, I really did like him. Um, he came in and talked to us for a long time before I went to the procedure. And he explained a lot of things. And uh, he explained something that I hadn't 
I hadn't heard from any other doctors yet talking about whether or not these injections were going to work. He said that the steroids would either work or they wouldn't. There was no no in between here, and I kind of already knew that. Um, but he said that if the discomfort that I was feeling um, was from just a herniated disc, the other seed potato, herniated disc, um, putting chemicals out. I guess the fluid in our disc is caustic. And as a disc herniates, some of that fluid will um, leak out and affect the uh, surrounding nerves, fully rotted one. Um, and if that's what's causing the discomfort and the irritation in my nerves, he said the steroids would fix that. But if I was getting the irritation because um, the herniated disc was actually putting pressure on the nerve, then there would be uh, no relief. And that's the first time that I heard that. And he said that there's no way that they can spell that uh, other than just doing the procedure. Uh, he said CAT scans won't reveal that. It was a matter of fractions of a millimeter, and there was no way that they could show that accurately enough on the CAT scan. So, the, uh, the only way we would know would be by trying these injections. So, so the first one was two weeks ago. how that does. Alright, well so far, other than the rotted potatoes, I am pretty pleased with the results. This, this soil is wetter than I would like, and that may have something to do with the rotten one. I may have to Slack off a little on the watering on the ones that are remaining in the pots. And maybe try getting some uh, perlite or some sand or something in these things. Alright, so that's that's what we're looking at. Uh, a couple of these do have some rotten spots, but I think we can cut around those and eat those fresh. Uh, I don't expect that we'll be storing many of these of that hopefully hopefully this is isolated we'll find out when we get into the next pots um, because there's not quite but almost this many more potatoes down in the bucket rotted so let's go get a weight and uh, see what we're dealing with okay here we go the scale I checked the the bowl before and it was five and a half ounces so we are looking at three pounds and two ounces or three ounces three pounds and three ounces so uh take a five and a half that's it well yeah let's just take five ounces off i'm not going to be that picky about it uh so that would be what two pounds and 13 ounces so I'm, I'm happy enough with that. Like I said, I'm kind of disappointed with the rot on them. But, and it would have been almost twice that many potatoes had the other ones not been so rotten. We just couldn't use them. We'll see if that's isolated. Maybe it's isolated to these potatoes. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know. You'll see all the other reveals. So there we go. Uh, first reveal. Red New Orleans. Uh, if anybody... Anybody has any ideas? I'm thinking that the soil was too wet. Um, I just watered everything yesterday morning. Yesterday morning? Day before. It's been two days since I watered. 
uh, and I didn't water those this morning. I didn't water this pot this morning when I watered everything else in the garden. Uh, and this pot is still that moist. So I'm thinking maybe the, the soil mix is holding too much water. So maybe we'll uh, we'll adjust the watering a little bit and see how how the rest of them do anyway. All right, guys. Again, first potato reveal of 2016, Red New Orleans. Um, almost three pounds from two seed potatoes and uh, it was planted on May 11th so it's just been a little over it's probably only well that, that makes it just uh, about 75 days all right everybody thanks for watching and God bless